Yeah, good evening, Jenna. It was a windy night here at Estown Broadband Stadium, and these teams both won last week close games to get their district schedule started the right way for the 1-0 start. And so with that being the case, this game had some build-up tonight, not to mention it was an instant classic here on this field a year ago with a basically walk-off win for Legacy in an absolute shootout. So will we see something similar here tonight? Week two of district play in a heavyweight matchup between the Midland Legacy Rebels, who won their district opener a week ago, hosting the Friendship Tigers did the same thing last Friday night. Opening drive of the game for the Rebels, handoff here to Mackenzie Rogers, who breaks a tackle and breaks another. Rogers rumbling his way inside the tent for a 22-yard carry, and it's back to 34. Maroon who waltzes into the end zone for the four-yard score to even it up at seven apiece early on. Strong opening drive for LHS, but Friendship was strong early too. Third drive of the game, Chase Campbell doing Chase Campbell things. Read option, makes a couple of Rebels miss, and Campbell sprints into the end zone for the 40-yard score, 21-7 Tigers. Now the Rebels need an answer to go back to Rogers, who somehow stays on his feet. Wow, look at the contact balance by Rogers. My goodness, finally chopped out for an 18-yard carry. And in the first quarter, Wildcat for Aiden Serrano. A hat on a hat, a numbers game. He finds the end zone from six yards out, 21-14 friendship. Now the Tigers threatening to go up by three scores, but this field goal is blocked by Nick Moore. Wow, what a momentum shifting play for special teams for the Rebels. And now they have an opportunity to go down the field before the end of the first half and try to get some points on the board. JP Reyes connects there with Cisco Rodriguez for a big gain. Reyes drops back here, finds running room off the right side. Large scramble here for Reyes. And now back to the ground game for Rodgers, who bounces to the outside, bangs into the end zone for his second touchdown of the first half, 28-21 Tigers at the break. Final score tonight from us down Broadband Stadium. Friendship ekes out a 51 to 48 win over Midland Legacy. Not necessarily as instant of a classic as it was last year, but it was a very good football game. The Rebels ran the ball really well tonight. And they really hung around, but they were never able to catch Friendship after that early tie. They never led in this game, trading scores in the second half, and it really came down to a, a late special teams play. You saw the block field goal there. It came down to a um, block, block, blocked extra point for Friendship. They returned it for two point conversion, took a uh, 10 point lead at that point. 51 to 41. Legacy got a late turnover, brought to three, but couldn't get the onside kick. And ultimately, they uh, end up losing this one. That full interview will be on our newswest9.com uh, on our game time tab with Coach Hartman. Appreciate his time tonight. He said they got to coach better and play better. We'll see if they can do it ahead of undefeated Permian next week at Rallo Stadium, Jenna.